I've seen this issue with your scope whenever I'm using it. So what happens is um, you can see my waveform, the way it is reading. You can see it looks like it read into the negatives. But I think the one supposed to be the grading, the grader line. And you can see my none of my values are negative, right? So I don't know if it is a firmware issue that you can do an update for me. Because when I switch it to... Uh, when I select, when when I select the, when I select the channel and bring the arrow down, that's where my waveform goes down, and I don't know why it's supposed to be so because even if I push it here, it I have to get it at top. I have to get it to the top, and you can see, this is my, um, this is my waveform generator and you can see that i have my ground to be the down and my i have the ground i have the ground to be the down and i have the ground to be the down one and the top one is the signal so that's the same connection i've done here and you can see the kind of waveform i'm getting from your scope so if i turn it that's when i and even with this scope anytime the anytime i'm on the middle that means it's positive and the down is negative but on your scope i don't see it to be that way on your scope i have to come down before i have to come down now you can see that when i come down that's when the waveform goes up above this arrow and that's an error that i'm seeing with your waveform uh, with your system so i think we have to do something about it i don't know if you give me a firmware update so that i might be able to correct the issue so let me switch let me switch the probes so if you can see you can see how your waveform looks like it looks like i'm reading it down and it's in the negative zone and you can see this one also you matter how i scale it you can see the dash dash channel one and you can see the waveform i've set it with the same with the same time i'm doing the same time which is 500 microseconds and the same voltage which is two and i can you can see it also on your scope you can see the difference so yours instead of it to read upwards it's reading down and sometimes it's a bit confusing when you are reading a waveform and it's behaving this way you might think you are in the negative you can see the vpp uh, voltage per point to point is 3.2 and the hertz frequency is one kilohertz that's the same thing you get here that's the same voltages you get here do you get it that's the maximum voltage 3.28 but i'm worried because um to every scope if you want to read the negative normally it is above the sine wave by yours unless i take it down so yours for it to work i have to take the i have to take this arrow which shows my channel down above the zero line and that's where the issue comes in so this is my problem with your scope i don't know if you can get me a firmware to rectify that issue so instead of the instead of the waveform you can see instead of it to be on the zero mark like this one you can see yours unless i move but with with this one with this advanced one even if i set to channel and i move my you can see it moves with the it moves with the waveform but yours is not like that so if you can do anything about it let me know so that um, we can help yeah, I can help your scope work properly like the way I want it to work. So that's my only issue that I'm having. Yours, it doesn't start from the zero point. So if you can help me out, I'll be very glad.
So after I spoke with the seller, he showed me how to go about it. You can see my channel one is down. So what he taught me was go to menu and you can see this opposite uh, opposition. So it's like the invent of it, right? So I'll just select off to turn it off. So if I want to do any event, um, maybe I'm doing sign wave, I want to do event of it, I just use that one. So right now that is off, let me see. Okay, now my waveform is okay. So you use this um, left and right to move the blue, you see some blue indication, this blue light to move it around. So let me go to, uh, yeah, that's my trigger. Let me pull my trigger up. Yeah, so now you can see my waveform is steady and I'm, I'm having a good waveform. So when you check this one, both of them are having the same waveform. So with this scope, uh, we'll still use it and try and get most out of it. And I really like it. Uh, it's now that I'm trying to use it and get to know more things I can do with it. So there's a two-channel scope with uh, um, amperage measuring up to six amps. So if I want to measure any uh, amps, I use this. So I'll do a video on it, a separate video on it using the amps. That's the reason why I got this thing. So now that I'm able to, and because of that, uh, let me switch it to so now when I switch it to the channel when you move it moves with the waveform It's not like the other side that when you move before it comes down So I communicate with the seller and he showed me how to go about it. Thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos So this is another tool for our Asna and you can see I'm sharing the same waveform